uh, let's just talk. Uh, I don't know if you remember it, but you and I were back. What year was it? 2012, 13. Anthony Parati. Yeah. Remember Parati, that? Yeah, our first let's one, let's yeah. just rewind that, right? Let's yeah. talk about that. That was a guy that made us break through, man. Parati out of nowhere, really lost first round. Come all the way back, was an All American, and then guys started to realize he did it. I'm going to be able to do it. And then Anthony was, I think, red shirt in that year, and was pretty fired up to get it going. And then the ball started rolling, and it was one. And then we were, weren't happy because it was an eighth, and then it was two. And we weren't happy because it wasn't high enough. And now here we are with two finalists. So it's a pretty exciting day for Rutgers Wrestling, Rutgers Athletics. I mean, I know you probably want to punch me in the face every time I brought up Tom Tannis. <laughs> no, no. Do you remember that? Oh, remember that? Remember that? And man. I wasn't doing it to mess with you, but it was, yeah. those were facts, right? Yeah, those were, that was, was the your last we All-American. Like 0-2? We yeah, 0-2. And, yeah. And we had some really good guys that were trying to chase that. And we didn't get it done and for whatever reasons. And here we are today. And those guys laid the foundation, though, for what we're doing, you know. Think about guys like Scotty Winston, Joey Langle, Trevor Meldy, Rinaldi, and the rest of those guys laid the foundation for what we're doing, what we're doing today. It's incredible because, you know, it's like you were a high school coach yeah. and you take this job and, you know, like, you know, Martin was at the Old Dominion, yeah. same thing. Uh, you know, dresser was, right? Yeah. And we're one of the only sports where someone can really do that. It's yeah. pretty amazing that you guys are what you are. The rack sells out. Yeah. You get these crazy environments for not just Big Ten schools. Princeton comes to town and it's mayhem. Yeah. You're winning on the heavyweight match and it's just, you got it rolling, man. How do you keep this momentum and just continue to build? We all know it's about recruiting. I get that. But yeah, how do you well, keep the, just this it's, culture? It's, it's really about having good people around you. You know, you surround yourself with really, really good people. We're fortunate. We have an administration. Our athletic director, Pat Hobbs, allows us to do some things outside the box to, to continuously bring people into that arena and sell it out. And, and yeah, it's about recruiting. And, you know, it's about winning, too. It's about winning big matches and nights like tonight, which, which sells it. But we're, we're fortunate to be surrounded by a lot of really, really good people. And uh, allows us to do some neat things. You know, like, if you look at the semifinal, Meech, it's having to go with Meech. Go, go ahead. Yes, the semifinal with Mijic, right? I mean, that's a match he loses in the rack. Yep. It's tough, man. Come back and get that one. You're gonna keep. You're gonna get a watery eye here. Are you gonna lose it? No, no, up? I'm good. What's up? You gonna be okay? No, Nick's locked in. You know, it's it's okay to it's okay to lose early on. We never like to lose, right? We never like to lose, but you learn from it. Nick learns from it. Never hung his head. Was like, I'm gonna be better. Trust me, I'll be better. Trusted his plan. He has a great plan set up, and it's worked. And uh. He's in a good spot right now. He felt he could win. He felt he could win the tournament. He feels, he feels he's the best guy in the weight. And he's had a great Big Ten tournament. Now he's having a great national tournament. You know, Ashton, it's really hard to beat a guy like uh, uh, Claude's like, really bad, like he did in the yeah. duel. He made your decision, True. right? True. And then to come back and win just gritty style right. in the semis there. What does that mean? What do you think that he says could, about the he program? He can do it in a lot of different ways. He's, you know, he's going to have to get clever for tomorrow night, right? It's going to be hard to beat Micah three times. But... Somebody like Anthony can do it because if he has to change up his, the way he's going about it, he'll do it. If he's got to ride you for two minutes, he's going to do it. Uh, if he has to win 2 nothing, he'll do it. If he's got to win 14-10 like he did with Jordan back in Vegas, he'll do it. So uh, he's going to find his way to get his, he's going to find a way to get his hand raised, hopefully, and, and that's all you can ask for. He's been a face of our program. He's the greatest great kid from a great, pro, uh, great family. You know, nothing but great things to say about him and his family. He's going to stick around with us. We're excited about that. Uh, this place is where it's at because of Anthony Ashley. All right. I know you got other stuff going on. Thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys tomorrow night. You got anything else for me? No, man. Good seeing you. You're the man.